am here at uh, Crane Lake and there's a shut-in at the end of this lake. I've never been able to photograph it in really good light or with a really good flow. And I'm not for sure about today either. So the lake is like really, really, really low. And I'll, so I'm not for sure how that affects the flow of the water into the shut-ins because it's, it's directly below the, the dam. There is not a lot of growth here at all. And again, it is about mid-April. So I'm kind of disappointed. I should have timed it maybe a week, two weeks later. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we can get. After further research, it was found that the dam was damaged after a record flood. The dam has been deemed unsafe and plans are being made to reconstruct it to the stricter standards in place today. As I descended into the shut-ins, I was pleased to see that the low lake level did not affect the shut-ins water flow. Several years ago, I tried to photograph this same area, but harsh light forced me to retreat. My goal today was to use the available cloud cover to see if I could improve upon my previous photos. I don't know if you can hear me, but my first composition is going to be right here. It's got great water flow. Now, I've got a little red bud back there. I don't know how it's going to come out, but I have this dam to deal with, with a straight line. So I need to take that out of play. Let's see what we've got here. Yep, now it's a little dark in the background there. Yeah, it might work, so. The first photo of the day was in the bag, allowing me to focus in on the more jagged sections of the shut-ins. As I encountered the beautiful, rich, pinkish hues of the flowering redbud, I scrambled to see just how I could incorporate them into a meaningful composition. All right, so I'm perched here right at the edge of the water, and I've got those beautiful red buds popping in the background. And I've got this little cascade that angles down to give me an interesting foreground. So I'm gonna put it all together and see just what we come up with. I, I think it looks really good. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna have to use about F22 to get this water to freeze. Next, I slowly ascended the angled granite. My purpose was to find a composition looking down on the shut-ins. Although what I saw was beautiful, it lacked that certain angle that I was striving to find. So I carefully descended back to the creek and scouted my last composition of the day. Okay, so I have this little waterfall up against this jagged granite background. And I, I really like the way the green hues of the pine trees and the pinks of the red bud are interacting. Uh, I think it all works. It's a little dark around the rocks here at the bottom, but I should be able to light that up in Lightroom and make it all work. My time had come to an end at Crane Lake. Even though the conditions were not ideal, I came away with a sense of appreciation for the beauty that lay in between the rocks.